we're going to prep the hair a little bit with a satin, just a touch, just to bring in moisture to the ends a little bit. And from here, like if you haven't washed your hair or anything like that, you can always put some dry shampoo on the roots. Kind of about four fingers in the front and start parting your hair. It can be parted in just two parts. Just one part. And just tuck away. And part this in about three parts. Like that. And we start teasing back here. We can use a spornet brush. This is probably the best brush to use, spornet. Four teases in the back. Four in the front. Just expand it. just keep teasing both sides and on this front part I'm just not gonna tease in the front I'm just gonna tease it in the back we want that much volume and we're going to start on the sides this is just to add volume on the sides gonna brush back just to make sure it's like smooth we still want it messy but we don't want it too messy mm -hmm. so I'm just kind of going to zigzag this top part first and then we're going to work on the sides so you zigzag it to get more if you want to you can even put it more Okay, so we're gonna lose, get a few pieces loose around the face, and we can just try this back, push this back. Again, we're going to leave some hair, and we're going to pull the hair from back here, and down like that. So we're going to grab bigger chunks. So we're going to curl away from the face. Once we're done with the hair cell, we just want to make sure that things look nice and smooth. It's like still messy but smooth and you can actually add more volume on the bottom if you, even with your fingers, if you just kind of do something like this. It's a really easy way to just give volume to your hair and you can add a finishing spray. Just make sure it stays longer.